<laughs> Mr. Hume, I do say, when will you stop? God, do you have an off button? Oh, oh, here we are. Welcome back to the show, and ladies and gentlemen, please welcome back to the desk, Mr. Rocky Hume. Now, Rocky, as you know, our, uh, our cast are not only aspiring comedians, they're also aspiring actors. I'm very sorry to hear that. <laughs> well, as of late, we've been having a lot of trouble landing our auditions. Ah. And I thought you might be the perfect person to ask for a bit of help. Really? Yep. Unprompted? <laughs> Unscripted? Yep. This is not a sketch or anything, is it? No, no, no. Okay, we I'm in your hands, Tom. I'm in your hands. <laughs> so what we've got is uh, some of our cast members have their audition pieces ready oh. and we thought they could show them to you, maybe get a bit of feedback. How does that sound? Sounds pretty good to me. Boom! <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, this is Acting Lessons with Lockie Hume. Okay, Lockie, now first things first, you can see young Xavier here. Yeah. What type of role do you think would suit Xavier? Mm. Just off the top of my head, Tom, an advanced hair commercial, something involving a pedophile, possibly. <laughs> <laughs> Great info, Lockie, I appreciate it. <laughs> Xavier, let's see what you've got, take it away. I can't believe she did this to me. After all that we've been through, without her I feel like I've got nothing <laughs> now, Lockie, if you had to give that scene, like, what would you call that scene? Bad. <laughs> uh, clearly, he's, it's a man, he's sort of trying to break up with his girlfriend and she's already left and something. Okay. But it's really, it was incoherent, it was bad. <laughs> <laughs> now, uh, I think the crying, it's safe to say, was bad. It was shocking. It, it, All of it was shocking. <laughs> so I hasn't got a hope in hell of getting a gig anywhere. <laughs> Let's see if we can prove a little bit of it then. <clears throat> uh, have you got any tips for, say, crying on cue? Watching that scene again might be a start, but uh, <laughs> for me personally, but for, for the actor at, at home, to cry on cue, my advice is put your hand in your pocket and pinch your left testicle. Oh, I don't really know about doing that. Just <laughs> do it. You heard the man, Dave. Okay. I can't believe she did this to me. After all that we've been through, without her, I just do not. Oh! Ah! Hurts up here. That's weird. <laughs> like you think it hurt down there, but it's all up there. It's weird. Did that get better or worse? No, no there's certainly no improvement from this. I, I, I'd throw it back to the audience, but half of them have left. So let's just move on to the next one. <laughs> all right, next one up, we have a love scene between Teagues and Luke. Oh, God. <laughs> So, can mm. I just ask... Just avert your eyes at home, kids. It may take on other forms. <laughs> <laughs> um, can I just, before we start, can I just ask what's my motivation, Lockie, in, in this scene? Get the job. Got it? Mm -hmm. <laughs> uh, so, uh, <laughs> take it away, guys. <laughs> uh, hey, hot stuff. Uh, you uh, come, here, come here often? Don't touch, don't touch. Uh, I, I, I work here, actually. That's a great answer. That's yeah, a really that's a good answer. You, um, you want to make out? Oh, God. Well, like, I guess uh, my break's coming up, so we could, we could do that then, I guess. Deal. Okay, guess. are you feeling the on-screen love here, Lockie? <laughs> yep. <laughs> <laughs> Was that a bit of vomit? A little bit, it swallowed it. All good. <laughs> You've always got this bad boy to wash it down. I know, but I think Luke was using that glass previously, so... <laughs> <laughs> okay, is there any way we can improve the on-screen chemistry between uh, Luke and Teagues? Taking Luke out of the scene might be a start. Tom. Let's just scrap the whole thing completely. Not at all, not at all. My advice to... Lucky, that'd be great. No, no. We can do this. No. Teagues, Teagues, seriously, Luke, my advice to your son. You've got all the talent in the world, and my God, you're a handsome bastard. But <laughs> next you. time you try the scene, Let's do it without the erection, okay? No promises. <laughs> you know, I think I'm done acting. Mm. All right, let's move okay. this thing along. Here, I, think I think I am too. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, here's our final scene, and it sounds like it couldn't come quick enough. Yes. Um, our final scene is where Nick and Cambo <laughs> have an argument over money. Mm -hmm. Why isn't Nick wearing a shirt? Uh, just I ignore it. Okay, guys, take it away. I don't think this is going to work. Lockie, uh, Cambo and I are pretty good mates. Yeah, okay, but look, okay, just the Cambo thing, mate. This is where the acting comes in. All right, Nick, think that you and Cambo hate each other. Imagine Cambo just made out with your girlfriend. What? And action. Yeah. Hey, Nick, 
You're not getting that money I owe you. Money out with my girlfriend? No, it's the same man. It's no time to do a same man. Why would you do that? Make out with my... No. That's it, man. I'm out. Uh, seems like an unfair question, but any tips? Yeah, fire both of them. Okay, done. <laughs> Moving right along, we, uh, we need to know which of the ones you thought had the most talent. Talent? No, no, no. The most talent. Don't oh. worry, we're not getting ahead okay. of ourselves. Right, well, who was the first guy? Our uh, first guy was Xavier. Well, probably him. Okay, any reason? Because I don't really remember what he did, so it's sort of reduced in my mind about how bad it was. So I <laughs> Good enough for me. Congratulations, yeah. Xavier, for winning the least shittest actor award. Thank you so much, Tommy. I'm happy and emotional with emotions. Jeez, he's come along leaps and bounds, hasn't he? Amazing. Oh. Oh. Ladies and gentlemen, that was acting lessons with Lockie Hume.